Oh my god. Just alpha! Three months in a row, get on in here, sir. And ding pong, three months as well, you guys are fucking twins! Enjoy that bomb. Boop. Later. If he drops his ball near my chair and I don't see it, he's gonna start clawing me. He comes up and bats you one time with his claw. He's such a dick, guys. Yesterday, he attacked me because he he likes to, he thinks the baby can throw the ball for him. So if the baby's sleeping, he'll go up to his little docketot, he'll drop the ball inside of it, and if the baby doesn't throw it, he tries to reach in to give him a quick claw. He cannot claw the baby. That's against all the rules. So um, I went to grab him and put him up in his room, in the laundry room where he's got his cat trees, his litter box, his food bowl, you know, all of his cat stuff. And he ran under a table to hide from me and then went into defensive on the back mode. And as soon as I reached out to pick him up, he latched onto my arm and started clawing me viciously. I don't know if you can see that or not. Got me real good through my, uh, my long sleeve shirt. That's through the long sleeve shirt. So it's like, what the hell, dude? But sometimes he can be so sweet and cute. Most of the times he's just a dick. He was not playing. He was out for he was making hissing sounds at me. He was out for blood. He did not want me to put him up. He's smart. He knows that that's what I was coming for. Mortal Kombat. Yanni Yage. Yorpian, Yub Yero, Sonya, Yonya. <laughs> Test your might. My cat is pretty much the same. It's like he's being possessed by the devil. Fuck cats, man. I am definitely a dog person. My dog just lays on the couch and chills. Sometimes he whines a little bit. He doesn't even bark that much. My dog's great. Abel, we win. Winning. Marginal. Test your might. Oh! I have six cats.
I shave Dick! Oh, I picked him up to love on him. And he started biting me and dug his claw into my arm. You can't see it, but it's bleeding. Wow. Wow. What an asshole. Yeah, Hotline Miami music is great, but they're gonna copyright fuck us. Dreadlocky! Thanks for the Twitch Prime, my man! And kill for pancakes! Yes! Can we hit him in. F okay, what the fuck? Did you guys just coordinate that? Flava Flav as well! Oh, man. Thank you, Flava Flav. Thank you, guys. Three freaking subs, bro. Can we get some pancakes in the chat? Drop them pancakes, boys. Just fart on the cat. I've peed on him. I've bit him. I've spit in his face. I've licked him. I've tried to cuddle him. I've fed him. I don't know what else I can do to make that cat nicer, man. I want to cut his fucking claws off, but... It's either cut his claws off or give him to a shelter where nobody will ever adopt him and eventually they'll put him down. And he'll have to live his life in a tiny cage. Those are my options right now. And I've been procrastinating and just letting him abuse me so far. So... Yay, for a cat abuse. <laughs> Should declaw him when you remove his testes. Yeah, well, we thought removing his testes would fit would make him nicer. It didn't. Why did you get a savage wildcat? We got him from a pet store, dude. We were so nice to him growing up. They leave the bat claws in so they can still defend themselves. I don't know, it's a very controversial subject. I don't want anybody to think I'm a bad pet owner, but I have literally tried everything. He tortures us. He tortures us. Like, I look like I'm a cutter. I look like I just cut myself because of this cat. I just have scars all over my arms, legs, and hands now. It's fucked up. 
All right, let's do this. Maybe you were too nice. The cat loves me. I is well, he loves me more than anybody else. He follows me around, okay? And if I'm in the room, the bedroom with Lisa with the door shut, the cat will sit in front of the door, stick his claws underneath it and shake the door as hard as he can. It's really fucking annoying. If Lisa's in there by herself, he doesn't do it. He doesn't do it. And if you let him in, he doesn't come cuddle you. He runs around the room tearing shit up. He'll crawl under the bed where you can't reach him. He gets on the tables and knocks all the drinks off. He claws up the curtains and climbs them. He wants nothing to do with me. He just wants to be in the same room I'm in. Like right now, he's probably sitting on my balcony, staring at my door waiting for me to come out. And if I come out and I don't feed him or give him attention and I try to walk back in here, he will claw me the entire way back. He'll attack my legs. He is a dick. He is a huge dick. He might be a demon. He might be a Kappa demon that's trying to steal my soul out of my butthole. You know, that's a real thing, by the way. That is a real thing. Except Kappa demons live in the water and cats don't like water, so... That doesn't make too much sense. He is Mega Stan, pretty much. Burn him. Ow. Can subs add you on Steam? <laughs> I mean, you can try, but my friends list is full. Um, people try to add me every day to Steam, and I don't know why, because they never message me to play games or anything. They just try to message me when I'm streaming, which is like, kind of annoying. Because they just want attention while I'm online. But my list is full. The dog knows I'm the alpha. The cat thinks he's the alpha. The dog respects me. The dog listens to me now. Um, he doesn't use. He hasn't used the restroom in the house. Uh, the only thing he tears up are shoes. And if we hide our shoes, he's usually fine. He just wants to cuddle. The dog. The only problem with the dog is that he's too cuddly. Like, if I let him out and I sit on the couch and I'm trying to, like, play something on my iPad or do anything, dog's right on top of you, like, in your lap. And he's a big dog. And if you stop petting him, he starts whining and he'll roll over more on you and he'll start licking you. And he'll lick you until you're wet. And I'm just like, damn, dog. You are just so cuddly. <laughs> It's not a bad thing. If you try to, you, you can't eat food around him though. He'll sit there and beg and beg and get right up next to your food and in your face and like, he won't try to eat it, but he'll try to sniff at it and silly doggo. Silly doggo. 
He's a good boy, though. If anything, he's too cuddly. We got a Mega Stan run on our hands, boys. My cat shits in my copier. Well, I haven't had that issue. I don't have a copier, though. Perthro Bracano Ewaz. I think I'll take Perthro and the Sun. <laughs> Which candle do you like the best? I like the blue candle best because it does more damage. But they're both pretty good. They're Zelda candles. Ow, ran into his face. I'm coming for you, Stanley. Oh, you tried to whip me? You failed. I'm a coming, Stanley. What I like about the candle is the first time I shoot it, it sets off my brimstone if it's charged. So I can get a double whammy in there. Bumbo! Hey, Death in a Can! What's up, One Man Raid? You were internet famous this morning because some people thought you were dead? That's not a good way to get internet famous. YOLO, let's go. Sizzle, sizzle. I remember when he used to could use the candle to burn the doorways, even when they were closed. It made the candle real opaque for killing bosses. What are you doing in here, little delirium? Should have rolled that. Whatever. That mine is pretty sexy, but I don't mind leaving it. <laughs> Another one, huh? Quit stealing my coins, Bumbo. Oh, I can never tell you no. Go ahead. Look at that fat sack of shit behind me. Love it. Like father, like son. Sorry, Hunter. My goal is to lose a bunch of weight before... Hunter is old enough to be able to remember what I look like. So by the time he's like three, I'll be skinny and he'll just think I've always been skinny. And then if he goes back and looks at anything from the past, he'll be like, damn daddy, you were fat. I'll be like, yeah, I was a big boy. Oof! 
Don't get me, bomb. Mmm, delicious pancakes. Drop the pancake core. Not today, fatty. More god rooms. Should have rolled it. I'm saving my roll for the chesticle. Yep. It's a fifth item. Ah, nose, please. Steven! I like you, Steven. Oh, come on. I was trying to use my cuck shield. I have a wafer, by the way. I have a wafer and cancer. So that should make me invincible when I get hit, right? Mama. Yeah, look at those sweet, delicious pancakes. Mmm. Rub them on my nips. Oh, come on. You heard me, Flo Jr. What are you doing here, Flo, huh? Who invited this guy here? God, I don't remember sending him an invitation to watch our stream. He's like Greg the Whale 2.0. Please. I forced him to sub. Yeah, you did. I love when you force trolls to sub. Damn. Secretly rare. Damn. I, I, I completely forgot what your other name is, Secretly Rare Dan. You're just Secretly Rare Dan to me now. That's all you'll ever be. I was safety glasses. Fuck. Okay. I don't know why that's so hard for me to remember. You... <sighs> yeah, that makes that makes sense why I, say, I haven't seen safety glasses in a while. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Big balls coming through. Another god room? What'll it be, Bob? Oh! Choices, choices. What do we guy? What do we want, guys? Do we want the heart of sacredness or the crown of juiciness? I want both of them. I can only take one, I believe. Probably the sacred heart. Sacred Heart, obviously. Big ol' balls. Plus tier 8, though. Do, 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 do. My damage is huge now. Ow. Thanks, little delirium. Oh, I'm getting fat damage with my dead eye. Stanky damage. Ugh. 
34. Ah, uh, Crown of Light does deactivate when you get hit. Big Bumbo. Everyone is bullying me, even in school. You want me to tell you how to handle a bully in school, Flo Jr., if you're actually getting bullied? You walk up to that motherfucker and you hit him in the mouth. You take the suspension. That bully will either leave you alone forever, or he's gonna kick your ass and put you in the hospital. Most likely, he's gonna leave you alone forever. He'll get expelled if he if he puts you in the hospital, so. Every bully I've ever had, I just kicked him in the face. Or punched him. Shuts their fucking that mouth up real quick. One time I was in math class and I had fallen asleep. And some of the kids thought it would be funny to take my T183 calculator. And they glued they glued the calculator to itself. So, you know the sleeve that covers it? They put glue on the inside of it so that it couldn't come off. And when I woke up, I went to open my calculator up and I saw all this jizz-like stuff inside my calculator. And I looked up, and uh, one of the guys was laughing, and I walked over there, and I punched him in the face! Never glued my calculator again! Roll it. Money equals power. It looked like straight up somebody jizzed inside my calculator. You don't fuck with a man's hundred dollar calculator, okay? Not like I ever used the damn thing. Violence is always the answer when you're getting bullied. Don't be a tattletale. Take matters into your own hands. Don't use weapons though. If you use a weapon, that's bitch shit. That's some bitch shit. Spit in their face. Something like that. Kick them in the nuts! Just don't use weapons. <laughs> Never fuck with a man's vehicle or calculator. Pocket sand counts as a weapon! That's my favorite weapon to use, but don't do it in school. Is my dick a weapon? Depends on how you use it. Do you think you could fuck someone to death? Like, I guess, yeah, you could probably, like, make someone choke to death on your dick if you tried hard enough. But not before they bit it off, I feel like, so the risk is on you. Unless they don't have teeth. I'm just wondering. I'm not saying I want to do it. It's just like one of those things you wonder about. They do make those ball gags, or those gags, that have like the circle in them, so it's like... So maybe you could use one of those. Just wondering. I'm not saying I want to do it. I'm just saying, like, it's possible. Your dick could be a weapon. How dare you touch my mantle of holy... Oh, look at those razors, baby. Feel the razor burn. 
I wonder about the people who just joined the channel. I didn't bring it up. Somebody asked if their dick could be a weapon, and I was like, maybe. You could also give somebody a heart attack by fucking. That's not your dick being a weapon, though. That's just somebody having a bad heart. And fucking. Judgment. Eh. Uh, Epiphora. Sounds like a makeup place. Glaucoma. Do 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 The fool. The average human mouth is four to five inches, while the average human is five to six inches. Exactly. But, like I said, they have teeth. So you'd bite the dick off before it choked you to death. Which is why you would need the special gag. Look at all these jokers, though. Do, 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 do. Or no teeth. And, you know what, maybe... Do you think if you bit hard enough with no teeth that you could gum a dick off? I'm not trying to scare away the, the, the weak and sensitive stomach people, but... I don't think it would be possible without teeth. I don't think you could gum a dick off. Unless the gum went down to the bone. In which case, now we're pushing it. Now we're pushing it, guys. Maybe a tiger. The jaw is pretty strong, though. I'd love someone to try. Okay. You guys started this conversation. I was just talking about bullying. That's all I was talking about, okay? Who wants to see me fuck Mega Stan to death? <laughs> oh, it's about that time to shave. The mustache, at least. Ooh, I'm a big bitch. Holy mother MacGyver, I killed him quick. They are just melting, daddy. 70 damage of melt. If only I had some piercing to go with that. Big ol' swinging balls. I'm immune to bombs, I'm pretty sure. What up, gangsta? Now your friend. Slightly more challenging. In your mouth, Satan! Daddy, are you proud of me? I just hit C... R1 and what? I don't know what that means, but yeah, I'm so proud. Come on, poop hole. No poop hole. Damn it. I wanted to poop hole that run. Bum, 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 bum. 